unsolicited opinions. Ooh, I love those. And we're back, folks. Yeah, yeah welcome oh, back. This yeah. is what episode three. Is it episode already? Th- already? Already? Episode three. Man, I like I got titties in this shirt. All of a sudden, hold on. Fat, 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 fat boys. boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back to my condescending uh, co-host here. <laughs> I, 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 Rux and Poochie back with some more unsolicited opinions. Poochie Dundada and Teddy Ruxman. If, if, so just, yeah, let, let's talk about this because some people, a lot of people know me, but like Rux, where did that come from? Never heard nobody talk call you that. It's a name comes from an old neighborhood. Given to me by a man named Snook. So he probably gave it to me just because we tried to deflect from his nickname. <laughs> his nickname was Snook. No, but you did look like Teddy Ruxpin. If y'all don't know what Teddy Ruxpin, Teddy was a talking teddy bear back in the, was it late 80s? Late Te- 80s. Late man. 80s. Talking teddy bear, had on some I can't overalls. Tell you, yeah. And I said, can you and I be friends? <laughs> jokes. I'm tired. I was tired of jokes, but then. But you I look like Teddy Ruxpin. I just can't remember. Because in the old neighborhood, if you got a nickname, somebody gave it to you, it stuck with you, wanted to or not. It's like, that's what it's going to call you. So that's Teddy Ruxpin. That's Teddy Rux, Rux, Rux over there. And that's Poochie. Yeah. And here we are for episode three of Unsolicited, Unsolicited Opinions. Opinions. I'd like to here thank all go. our Unsolicited listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all like, subscribe. Yes, please. Hit do. the notification button so you can know when we're going to come give you some more nonsense. That's Unfiltered opinions. All we got to give nonsense. Off Crown Royal. Uh, unofficial, <laughs> sponsor. unofficial sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Oh man! <clears throat> okay, so look, I was, I've been late to work because we've been binging. This is your job, <laughs> <laughs> like Tommy ain't got no job. This anyway, is your job. <clears throat> been late to work because we've been binging the first season of Godfather oh. Harlem, trying to get ready for the second season yeah. of Godfather Harlem. If so, you're not up on Godfather yep. Harlem, highly recommend. Yeah, it's you. a good show. It's a good show. I mean, I just recently got on it, and um, yeah. I'm having nightmares about Big Dick Buster. <laughs> okay, look, look. Season one, episode, was it two and three? It's either one that. and three yeah. or two and three. <sighs> when they want some information, Dick, they call Big, Big Dick, Dick Buster. Buster. Yeah, Big Dick Buster come and get that information. <laughs> and and just from the sound of his name, he's not coming in to punch you. <laughs> He's, like, he's not coming in like to wear you down with physical violence. Well, it's physical violence. <laughs> physical violence. <laughs> yeah, but not the kind you're thinking about. Uh-huh. So, yeah. He going you, you to beat that information yeah, out yeah. of you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the kind way of saying it. Yeah, he yeah. going to beat it up all night. <laughs> man, so, yeah. But it's a good show. Good I show, mean, man. the production value. Yeah. Man, look, look. They got them good seventies doors on, you know. Yeah, like, we it, was the like, set looked like, like the, the set design they had was real dope. lead paint. Yeah, yeah. Like they, I think they probably had to wear a mask because for the carcinogens <laughs> for filming because that looked legit. Like whoever was a set designer for that show did an awesome job. Did an awesome I wish job. I know. Oh, speaking of people who hooked us up, who gave us the intro beat? Oh, Capital Cam gave Capital us the Cam, new intro beat. Yes. His information will be down in the description. His SoundCloud. If you hey, if you need some music, you need some beats, you holler at Capital Cam. He hooked us up with the with official the beat. That's unsolicited the official intro. intro beat. Yeah, we like that joint. We're going to freestyle over it. It's probably going to be whack, but we'll do it anyway. <laughs> and we don't care. We don't we, care. We, we, like, it's, yeah. it's our opinion, not yours. This we, is we strictly care for yours. fun, yo. This is like, like y'all don't even know. We've been down here for the past hour talking without even recording, and we probably missed some really good conversations. It's all right. It's all right though, because yeah. we'll remember them again. Man, my t-shirt looks so whack. That's like it just looks stressed out. Like I was like, I had to sit on the hanger way too long. Right. That's because <laughs> you know why though? Because well, you probably ain't. Iron since your mama made you. When the last time you ironed something? <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good question. It's good, but I have, I have within the past May. I was, I'm gonna say three months because I had some. It was it was suit pants. It was suit pants. Suit I, had, pants. I didn't even take it to the cleaners. And it was a last minute situation. I was like, I gotta iron these joints. So it was some suit pants. But yeah, you're right because usually a. Hey, I mean, I got a setting on my dryer. It's wrinkle release. <laughs> That's all I need, yo. Wrinkle release. I mean, I still, yeah, I'm throw I that still in there. iron because my mama was a was a starch notch. Was Nazi. she? Yeah, she yeah. Like, she would make me iron. She was like, 
like she has stock in Niagara. <laughs> you know, the, the, the Niagara starch. Yes, like she has, yes. Like she has stock. But nigga, you better tighten the pants up. <laughs> she and was, they go out here she with was the like, crease. Your line, your line curves. Like your crease yeah. ain't so straight. So she was testing your lines. Oh, yeah. She spray water oh. on it and be like, do it again. Stop. And then it would make me well, iron her stuff. That explains a lot, Chris. <laughs> Oh, Poochie um, That explains a lot uh, I'm iron traumatized yeah. I, got, I got PTSD From ironing Between that and vacuuming I was like It ain't nobody here But me and you <laughs> Why vacuuming so much <laughs> We got a fish <laughs> We even got a dog It's me and you <laughs> And the goddamn pet fish, fish. Yeah. He ain't even touching the carpet <laughs> Why am I vacuuming so much? Hey, she, hey, she, All right, hey, man. Vacuuming. Oh, my God. Hey, but I ain't had no allergies. N- yeah. <laughs> See? She was looking yeah, out. I had no allergies. Moms look out, man. That's what moms do. Shout out to Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> but she was a vacuum <laughs> Nazi. Vacuum. I oh, I hope she never sees this. I hope she does. Because she would laugh. Yeah, she would laugh about she it. At some she point. She would laugh about it. But you, oh, hey, funny. but she ain't see no lines in the carpet. No, use a lie. Use a lie. <laughs> you ain't, you ain't nothing. backing nothing. <laughs> it better be some line. If you back, it's like that's why I think our parents want us to vacuum so much because like physical evidence that they can see that we actually did some work. Mm-hmm. Like vacuum. If you vacuum, leave lines in the carpet. So it was like, okay, he vacuum. I mean, but think about it. Would, would you? Well. I, would you pay somebody an allowance if you ain't had no proof? No. <laughs> yeah. Like, what have you done? I mean, look, look, I'm acting like I got an allowance. I ain't yeah. get no damn allowance. Did you well, get an allowance? Um, for like a month or two, I did. I was good with I was good with my dad in my middle school years. This high school is when I started like messing up. I'm just saying, but, but did you ever get an allowance? No, I was did they allowed. Ever I give was, you like weekly. Cash? I was allowed to eat. <laughs> I was allowed to have a place to sleep. I was allowed to get, go to school. Yeah, that was my allowance. They allowed me to live. <laughs> they were allowed. <laughs> yeah, that was my allowance. I was allowed to do shit. <laughs> right. So, 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 so yeah. I've I, I been just amazed by people that got allowances in the first place. Yeah, allowance. Yeah, I think I if you got I, an allowance. I think the first time I broached that subject, I think I got a universal laughter from my family. <laughs> allowance. What the, but what I, did, I watch the different strokes, boy. <laughs> I, I just feel like it was good that she never gave me one that I can recall. I'm right. not gonna say because I, I don't want my mama watching this and be like, "I gave you an allowance back in." Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't, so I don't recall Remember no it, allowance, yeah. but I know me. Yeah, and I would have tried to negotiate a higher rate. Yeah, of course, <laughs> of course, of course, she would have. I'd be like, of "Hey, course. look here now. Yeah, you ain't never here. Yeah, <laughs> I pretty much take care of myself." <laughs> I'm gonna need a little more money. I'm, little, I'm, I'm handling all this stuff in the house. But just the, you gone. The fact that we used to come to the mall and take all your Chick Fil A samples is proof enough that you wouldn't get an allowance because you was working. That's true. Yeah, yeah. You had, yeah, to you had, had a job. Chain, had yeah. to chain that bike to the stop. That's sign. how I used to know you was at the mall. I was like, is that Chris bike over there chained up to that sign? Oh yeah, Chris. Had, oh, he gonna be putting the samples out, and we would just come by and rape all. Like we were pretty. Nah, much... I would call y'all though. Yeah, when you would tell us. I knew I was a Chick Fil A Chick Fil A sample dude. Now, see, see, my see, favorite sample. Huh? My don't favorite nobody samples. Know about that no more because Chick Fil A's in don't the do malls. Yeah, no they don't. But they are. No, that's come on. I thought they all had like the drive. No, spots now. there's a Chick Fil A in um, North Point. They're, they're still in the mall, but they don't do the samples no more because they've already sold themselves. Oh, Back yeah. then, they were still pitching, you know, they were still selling themselves. So you would walk by Chick Fil A and they had the toothpicks and the chicken and they were like, hey. And then Crispy out there and we walked by just grab, grab the whole plate. <laughs> All right, just go back and cut some more. Yeah, say, exactly. Hey, y'all yeah. go to the arcade, come back, y'all come back five minutes, five minutes be some more chicken out here. We yeah. go to the mall, walk by Chris three times, get full. <laughs> That and get a, a blondie brownie from Dre at the oh, cookie company. No, the cheesecake brownie. Yeah, that's what I mean. Cheesecake, the cheesecake brownie. brownie. Oh my god, that was a good brownie. Oh my god, stop nothing on yourself. Because I, <laughs> I haven't had one of those in so long. Like the cheesecake brownie from the cookie company, the cheesecake brownies. Like they were, I mean, you probably put like a whole pound of sugar in that batch, man. It was yeah. so good. But I've never seen a standalone cookie company so like as these malls are dying yeah i'm assuming the cookie companies yeah it's dying, dying too well. yeah like where do you go get a sheet birthday yeah. cookie from ain't no, now? ain't no cookie <clears throat> company 
Well, Kroger, because they now they was like they, they got they got in on the cookie cookie game. They got in the cookie cake. <laughs> they game. muscled them out like they Bubba Johnson. Them out, they, they muscled them out the cookie cake game. They was yeah. watching Godfather like, Harlem too. <laughs> like them niggas can't make cookie cakes no more. We are gonna start making cookie cakes. We gonna make some cookie cakes. Cookie, up like in we getting on this doji. <laughs> we getting the doji. We gonna start making these cookie cakes up in here, and we are gonna muscle these dudes out. Fuck cookie company. <laughs> we gonna make cookie cakes now, Kroger. <laughs> and Publix, we got they, cook, they, we got got, they ain't got the cheesecake brownies. No, though. they ain't get this. They ain't no, get this. They ain't they get no the quick. secret formula. They yeah, send, they ain't send plankton Man, in. I, I bet you that formula's like up there with Pepsi and Coca Cola. The cheesecake brownie formula from Cookie Company. Oh, I forgot Dre used to hook us up. Shout out to Dre he used to hook us up with the cheesecake brownies. Yeah, um, back man. when, yeah. back when we didn't even know what money was. No, was I'll a, be wanting want some change to go to the arcade and play Super Sprint. Hey, so that's back when it was a good bartering system because because Tanya used to work at Orange Julius. Yes, <laughs> yes, and you worked at Chick Fil A. Dre worked at the cookie company. Yeah, let's get so, it. For yeah, free. he was kind of like, yo, I give you some brownies for some Orange Julius, and then you know, I give you chicken sandwich. My thing was the ice creams. They had they have changed. Remember the ice creams for Chick Fil A? Love those. Yeah, like the formulas changed. Like the ice cream you get from Chick Fil A. All the Chick Fil A has changed. I know it's supposed to be like God's company, but. They cheating y'all. No, like, yeah. Look, back that was in the my day, first job. Yeah. They back, cutting them fillets in half now. Yes. If you look at the Chick-fil-A. Listen to this man. No, 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 yeah, we no bull. This, yeah, we had this conversation half, before. They yeah. cutting them in half. Because like you're supposed sandwich. to get a full fillet. Like, I'm pro Popeyes right now because you get a full fillet on Popeyes. Whereas most of these chicken Chick-fil-A franchises cutting that fillet in half. I used to batter, put them in the buttermilk, pressure cook all these jokers. I know what they're supposed to look like. <laughs> They so, don't look like that no more. So what are you getting now at Chick-fil-A now then? Since Nothing. You're not, no, but you're getting something. What 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 is that in the bun? Oh, you're getting half of what you normally you're getting half of the breast. So uh, compared to the days back when you was there to compare to now, like you, All right, you, you yeah. short. Back in the day, your chicken was supposed to exceed the bun. The bun. Yeah. They, they don't, don't do, do that, that anymore. No it's no. like, it's, oh, it's, oh, okay, well, let me say this. In the black neighborhoods, they don't. I don't know what Chick-fil-A <laughs> look like. I ain't been to no Roswell hey, Chick-fil-A. Hey, hold on. Tomorrow morning, maybe we need to go to Chick-fil-A. And well, not in the morning. Like, I want no biscuit. No, no. I want, I want a Chick-fil-A. I want a so we gotta be, now we get to some investigative journalism. <laughs> I didn't even want to be journal. I don't even want to be journalistically responsible because it's not that kind of show. Like, I don't want people actually holding us to our word. We're not journalists. We're just two dudes talking shit in the basement. Look, these people out here know that they've what? been getting robbed. They know that that chicken oh, been well, shrinking. Minimalism has been, it's all over the grocery market. It's all over the same yeah. price, you could go to Popeye's. Yeah. And your chicken exceed the bun. All right, we're going to have a uh, chicken sandwich off here. And I know it's been done a million times before. Like, everybody's had their chicken sandwich. No, off. I'm not here to promote. Popeyes or Chick Fil A, right? I'm here to promote KFC because it's the sleeper. Is it KFC sleeper? sleeper? The KFC chicken sandwich is a straight up. Is sleeper. really? It's like it's like if this is Popeyes, right? KFC right here, really? And ain't been no fuss about it. People, People are standing in line. Like, like the, I'm just saying, no, no. I haven't had you one can yet. Go get it without having to stand in line. Well, yeah. nobody's you, really been standing you ain't got it, you ain't since got the original Popeye's crisis. Of, Still, I'm just saying. But 2020. It's a, good, it's a good sense. It was 2019. Was it? Time flying. God yeah. dang. But that KFC chicken sandwich ain't no bitch. Really? It's good. I haven't had one. It's good. All right. What about churches? I had not. I've had the church's chicken sandwich. Unfortunately, I've been an advocate of the chicken wars, and I've tried them all. I was about to say, I was about to ask the audience. Come on, audience, what's the best chicken joint out of out of fast food joints? Not no Why one. Why are you off. asking their opinion like you give a fuck? Yeah. <laughs> well, I do kind of. I kind of give a fuck because we got. I'm trying to tell you because we get Popeye's spicy. Right. Number one. You think so? Right up under. All right, that. chicken sandwiches. We're gonna be twenty. Twi- Fast food, not we like because we know about Chickalo. Yeah, no, no, no. yeah, Chickalo. No, that's, it, that's a whole nother that's show. That's a whole nother subject. That's a whole nother yeah, show. Yeah. The Chickaloo, the Chickaloo is a whole nother point in East Point. Cos- yeah. yeah, that's a whole nother subject. That that don't that ain't even fair. We're gonna talk. Yeah, yeah. Chickaloo got the hands down, but we're gonna talk about fast food joints like KFC, Popeyes, Popeyes, KFC, churches. Popeyes, Bojangles. First. Have you ever Bojangles? Nah, unfortunately. Yeah, no, see, Bojangles I'm is slipping. a sleeper. Bojangles is a sleeper. No, because KFC they, is the sleeper. You because think so? there's no reason I would ever go to KFC for any other reason. Well, I just went for a not even the bowls, journalism. not even the family. I meal. do like I do like the hash. I mean the mashed the potato bowls. Bowl. Come, come on, man. Yeah, yeah that's, that's come slapping. On, man. That, yeah. That, 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 that's all right. right. But let's keep it real. 
<laughs> I'm trying. Anyway, Popeyes, spicy. Right. Sandwich. The chicken sandwich. Yeah. All right. Chicken sandwich. Then under that, right. classic KFC chicken sandwich. KFC got a spicy sandwich, but I think they spicy sauce is a little too runny. Oh, we forgot about Wendy's too. And McDonald's. Nah, when, I mean, I don't even count Wendy's because their chicken sandwich ain't changed. It's the same chicken You see bag. that meme? Was like, hey, yeah. You see that meme with the make chicken? Talk about y'all come back to me when y'all broke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's real. That's, that's real. real. Though, though. They make that's chicken it. sandwiches for yeah. Like when y'all broke, you'll come back. You'll come I don't back count soon. the I don't count the yeah, chicken sandwich because first off, it's been the same. And then, what they got different variations of it. Yeah, but they just putting other stuff on it. But regardless, the Wendy's chicken sandwich is gonna stick to the roof of your mouth. Period. Yeah, that's what it does. Yeah, it yeah. sticks to the roof. You're of your right. Mouth. You're right. You're it right. sticks to the roof of your mouth. But right. the Popeyes uh -huh. spicy, KFC right. classic, then the Popeyes classic. Really. And then I might have to go with the Zaxby's right now because I had the Bojangles. The, sorry, then, Zaxby's tried to throw a, a fake sandwich at us before. We just throw some strips on and some bread. No, no, no. They, yeah. got, no. they got a full filet they got, now. They got a good one now. They got a full All filet right. now. But they tried okie dokas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was like, I'm going to throw some chicken strips on them. Some... I've even had the church's chicken sandwich. Church's has a chicken sandwich? Yeah, church. See, everybody, was, everybody in on this war now. This see, is I'm so out of touch, man, because where I live now. Yeah. Chris is... So you keep me entrenched in the hood. You ain't got, you ain't got no hood restaurants. <laughs> no. No, I ain't got nothing up here. I ain't got no Yassines. I ain't got no Supreme Fish Delight. No China Cafeteria. No China Cafeteria. No house specials. No. The house specials. That got us through high school. Oh, what, yeah. was it, what would you be like? Two, what would you be like? Two ninety five or three ninety five? Three ninety five. Three ninety five for braised eight, wings. eight braised wings and a big thing of chicken fried rice for three ninety five. Like we used to be like, yo, we're going to China Cafeteria, get them get that special. How well, special? My kids, my kids on China Cav. Anytime yeah. we see Old National, I, they yeah. think they think Old National is just for China Cav. China Cafeteria. <laughs> and that place has been there since seventies, maybe or early eighties, definitely for definitely sure. Early, early definitely 80s. early eighties because we was going there. High and school. it looked like it too. Yeah, yeah. Like they have done no renovation to the architecture of their store. Any, get, yeah. any restaurant when you walk in the front door, they got the little. Newsstand with rolling out in it. <laughs> <laughs> if you see, if you see a stack of rolling outs, <laughs> for sure, for sure, you already know. You know, oh, you already this know. food about to be good. Yeah, this shit about to be good. <laughs> like, hold on, shot. I'm gonna order two plates. Yeah, I'm gonna get number one and number two. Now. The, the other hood spots that ain't necessarily fast food. Right. With the chicken sandwiches? No, nah, no. Nah, I'm just talking about like like Big Daddy's. Where you can go. You See, now, nah, you've daddy's. never taken me to Big Daddy's. I shouldn't have to take you to Big Daddy's. You said you would. Now, then, then for our viewers and people Man, are looking, we're, we're going to do uh, food reviews on here. That's coming up. We're waiting. We're going to get, we want to make sure we have the video quality so we can show the food correctly before we start reviewing it. Because we don't want to give you no shorts. Yeah, but we probably yeah. gonna have to go remote because ain't no good food places up here where he live. Up at Docks North, man, ain't yeah, no churches yeah. up here, man. Hey Roswell, rep hey Roswell, represent. Look, you yeah. tell him how Roswell ain't got a checkers. We don't. <laughs> no checkers, no Roswell. churches, right? And we because that, that was a business venture. We was like, man, there's a lot of black folks up here in Roswell. We should bring uh, some black restaurants like Checkers or, you know. We have one row with just the check churches. We said we open a strip mall. Yeah, we said we open yeah, <laughs> a the strip mall with churches, Checkers, and China, and China cafeteria. cafeteria. We want a clean house. We clean, clean house. Clean house. We're like, man, that shit's good, yo. <laughs> I'm glad y'all opened this shit up. Yeah, we was like, we was going to let Hardy's get a little slice at the end. If Hardy's want to get in on the deal, it was like, Hardy's, you, all right, you can get in on this too, Hardy. Okay, chicken sandwiches aside. All right. That superstar is a bomb, man. man. <laughs> you couldn't even finish your superstar no, party, yo. No. And I got intel. From, <laughs> oh, I got some inside, inside, inside information. Intel. I got some inside information from somebody that work at Hardee's that say they about to jump into the chicken wars, and the beer battered um, chicken tenders they got, they about to get a whole fillet, and they are gonna be hand breaded beer battered too. So it's gonna be the fillet that tastes just like they chicken strips. And if you ain't had Hardy's chicken strips, I haven't had Hardy's chicken. Oh, strips. you sleeping on some chicken well, strips, dog? You at, with the see, honey now, old sauce? Now with the honey we're, old we're sauce? back to my proximity of these establishments. Oh, but there's a Hardy's up here. Yeah, there's a Hardy's, but I get to the crystals first. <laughs> Ew. Last time you had some. Ew. Ew. Come on, man. Crystals is an Atlanta staple. Like it's still nasty. Nope. It's a three a.m. 
That's where we used to go to high school and fight. And <laughs> how, how many times Crystal saved your life? <laughs> How many times Crystal saved your life? The next day. Yeah. Know. So you ain't never date the crystals. I I like the crystal chicks. Yeah. I don't like that little thin piece of meat bullshit on a goddamn Hawaiian man, roll. Man, come on, man. Well, You're insulting a, a lot of people right now in Atlanta. I don't care. <laughs> He's a yeah. solicitor me. I don't give a fuck about your right. and, and, and all the White Castle folk. They kiss my oh, ass, too. Because it's the same it's a, thing. Oh, my God. It's We're a in thin trouble piece now. of meat with holes in it. Crystal ain't got no holes. White Castle still a 30 year meat with a bunch of holes in it and it's just a thin sheet of paper of some meat on a on a fake ass Hawaiian him. roll. Tweet him, not uh, me. Hey, hey. His personal hey, shit. Don't do the unsolicited don't do opinions <laughs> at gmail.com. Oh my God. Really? So crystals is out of the picture for you. Until they came out with the crystal chick. Yeah, the crystal chick is good. It is good. And they put bacon on it if you ask. All right, it. let's talk who got the best breakfast sandwich? In right Atlanta. now? Right now. Wendy's. You think so? Number one. Number one? Number one. Number one. The croissant maple bacon. Stop playing. Chicken croissant. I haven't had that yet. I've been telling you, you went and got the breakfast baconator. Yeah, I will. Wrong I will. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, dog. I'm trying to tell you. The croissant maple bacon chicken sandwich. That's a lot to remember. That's why I'm telling you it's number one. <laughs> <laughs> it's number one. Get the number one. The number one. Number one. From my Muslims and they put, out there. They, 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 they little potatoes is good too. Whatever. They yeah. Do. They not. See, they kind of like wedges. But see, Wendy's just Wendy's finally decided like, yo, we gotta get in this breakfast game. They tried like a couple uh, of years, years ago. ago I remember failed. that. I remember they that. Failed. I remember that. And then they brought. It was like let's try it again because we're losing so much revenue. Yeah, they had to go hire Lucille. Who? What? Uh, or Greta or Lucy that lady, that or Miss Gladys <laughs> say hi to somebody but like, I'm gonna show you how to make some breakfast biscuits bitches <laughs> <laughs> they might have hired Aunt Jemima since she just got fired and <laughs> shit she was like put this maple <laughs> put some syrup on it bitches put some syrup on it y'all, 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 y'all sell millions me. millions millions, millions. All right, folks. I guess this was our fast food show. Oh, my God. We're going to go We're going to wait 22 minutes, man. Yeah, we got to get out of here, out. man. We got to get out of here. All right. We Thank out. y'all. Subscribe. Share. Yeah. We'll see you soon. I don't even know what my outro music is, yo. Look at you. Uh, yeah. I'm fucking You got up. the volume down. That's your problem. No, I'm just on the wrong page. <laughs> yeah. There we go.